You said you're committed to innovation. You said you're committed to disruption. So what do you think? I have a different view of how things should be than a lot of other people. Him in the New York Times on Forbes, and He's now a he's here. entrepreneur, speaker, we are talking to the fabulous the greatest Sterling shortcoming Hawkins. of the human race is our inability to understand the exponential function. Right? In theory, it makes sense. We all know how the graph looks, but as it manifests itself in our real life, is a very different story. You see, when more people stop settling for what shows up and start creating what's possible. We can live in a world that's not just a little bit different, but exponentially better. To really have innovation come alive, we have to do things a little bit differently. We, kind of being on that line between things that you know and things that you don't know, or like that chaos and mm -hmm. worry of the unknown. And walking that line, is, it does take something, yeah, right? Yeah. But you have to like get out of bed in the morning and be like, okay, like today I'm gonna make myself yeah. uncomfortable. How am I gonna do that? Yeah. With the linear thinking, you're looking into the past. With innovation thinking, yeah, you're noting the past. It's there. It exists, but you turn into the future and you ask that question, well, what else is possible? something fundamental to everything. I, I'm not kidding. Innovation really does happen with engagement. What can be different given technology today? Like no kidding, I'm the precipice of something new. Listen, I'm here to make a difference. If we turn their businesses into things that literally can spread virally. Uh, whether you do that thing that you think is impossible or not, the fact that you showed up and tried to do it makes me think of all the time. We're here to build a, a better future for all of us.